Hello and welcome back. This is Ashkol Rafi once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to host your website on GitHub for free. So first of all, let me show you the end result. And after that, I'm going to walk you through every single process step by step. So first thing first, I'm going to click on one of these repositories. And after that, you are going to see this live URL. So if I open this link in a new tab, or let's say I have shared this link with someone else. If they visit this link from any browser from anywhere of the world, they will be able to visit my website. They will be able to see everything that I have got on my website. And I have hosted this completely free. And again, if I take you back to Chrome and if I take you back here, if you want to share your image files, your video files or all the contents of your website that you have worked on, simply copy this link and then share this link with anyone so that they will be able to access everything like the image, the index.html, style.css and all the information that you are going to upload inside this folder. So without further ado, let me show you how you can do this task, how you can upload your website on github step by step so first thing first you have to set up your free github account which is really easy if you need help please let me know i'm going to upload a new video so after setting up your account sign into your account and you are going to see an interface just like this one and after signing into your account simply you have to click on this new button right here to create a repository or you can use this plus icon from here and then click on this new repository button right here so let me click on it and after that you have to give a name right here repository name so i'm going to type out a name let's say flex because i'm going to upload a work which is um, about the flex so let me show you the work first just take a look i am inside this folder flex and then i have got this work index.html and i'm going to upload this one so let me show you uh, the work in real quick so I'd love to keep it to my github profile right so now I am going back to the folder and just take a look I have got this image inside this folder I have got these index.html style.css files already so now it's time to upload this website to github so that anyone from the world will be able to visit the link and will be able to access this website so let's go back to the repository or github field and after that provide the name of your project and then just go a little bit down keep it public if you want or you can keep it private if you are working or if you are uploading the website for a client you can keep it to private all right so now what i'm going to do i'm going to click on this create repository button right here and then it is going to show you these process steps that you have to do to upload or create our repository so now i'm going to take you to my text editor which is um, visual studio code and then i'm going to open the folder which is flex and i'm going to select the folder so that everything inside the flex folder i have image I have got index.html style.css so everything is appearing here so now what i'm going to do i'm going to take you to index.html and after that let's click on this terminal button right here click on new terminal button right here and then we are going to provide these commands as you can see echo then we are going to copy these commands from here let's go back to our editor paste the information here hit enter and it is going to add the readme file right here just take a look right so now after that we have to go back again and then we are going to initialize our repository uh, process so let me just paste it and then hit enter just take a look initialized empty git repository in this folder right so now let's go back to chrome again after that we are going to copy this command line and I'm going to make simple change here on this command line. So let's go back to our editor, paste the information. I'm going to delete the readme. Instead of readme, I'm going to provide this dot and then hit enter. It is going to add up every elements of this file, right? So now let me take you back to the browser. After that, I'm going to copy this one. Uh, git commit m first commit. So we are going back to the code editor then paste this information you have to simply make the change on whatever change you were providing so let's say my flex work and then make sure you have provided this double quotation and hit enter 
and then I'm going back after that I'm going to select the git branch copy let's go back paste it and hit enter after that go back to the browser and get this origin link so I'm going to copy let's go back to the code editor paste it and hit enter and after that let's go back again this is the final step we are going to push our gig so let's copy this um, command line from here let's go back to the editor paste it here and hit enter now it is being uploaded just take a look 41 percent 58 percent and and here we go yeah all looks cool here so now if i take you back into the browser and now if i reload this page you are going to see i have got all the files here index.html readme.md style.css and then if i take you to image you are going to find all the animals image so if i click here you are going to see the image file right here now we have uploaded our work or our codes into github now it's time to get url so that anyone will be able to visit the website uh, easily so let me show you how we can get the url so let's go to settings from here after that you have to go a little bit down until you find this page option so let's click on page after that you have to select the source which is going to be main after that i'm going to click on save and here we go your site is ready to be published at this link so it is going to take like let's say two or three minutes to get everything ready and it is going to be live so if i visit this link now it might going to show me a 404 error but let's see yes it is going to show me this uh, error but within like two or three minutes it is going to be updated so let's just wait and let's see how long it takes so instead of just trying this link here i'd love to take you to incognito mode and let's hit enter yeah just take a look it's already live here right this is real fun stuff so anyone will be able to visit this website from their computer instead of only your computer just take a look we have got this secured https now if i take you to our browser uh, this uh, mozilla firefox browser if i paste it hit enter anyone will be able to visit our website right so this is our work which is now live for everyone now let me show you how you can let me just reload this one let's see if it is currently appearing here yes it is working here as well so within like one minute it just worked now let's go back so if it takes like two or three minutes don't worry it sometimes takes some time and whenever you will see these green marks that means it is actually uh, live as of now now let me take you back here on this repository and after that i'm going to show you how you can add your live site url into this field simple you have to click on this gear icon and after that provide some information this flex property practice work okay now if i put this url right here and you can provide it let's say flex yeah flex css okay flex you can select the categories and css okay css3 all right all looks good now if i click on save change just take a look anyone will be able to read the about anyone will be able to find the live site url as well and now if i copy this if I take you here let me take you to incognito mode from here paste it just take a look we are seeing the image all the files and we are seeing all the codes and then we are seeing the live site URL so this was the process of how you can host your website completely free on github I believe you have found this video helpful if you did please give this video a like share this video to help your friends and subscribe to my channel to get more helpful videos in near future and of course if you have got any question please don't hesitate to ask me by commenting below I hope to see you in my next web design web development tutorials thank you so much for watching have a good day